Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I wanna to highlight the uh, Fiskars hatchet. Uh, Fiskars, this is the X7 hatchet. They make a whole bunch of different cutting tools. In fact, some really bizarre shaped ones. I have no idea what they're for. Um, to splitting malls, to small hatchets. The Fiskars company, it's a Finnish company you know, from Finland and it's been around oddly since um, I believe 1649. Um, that's a long time and obviously well before plastic. And in fact, Fiskars was the very first company to patent the plastic handled scissors. Um, and they did that way back in 1967. So they've been at this a while. Um, but I wanted to highlight this particular Fiskars hatchet. Um, I do like quality hatchets. Here's my favorite. This is the Grand Force Brooks uh, Wildlife Hatchet. It's absolutely a, a, a piece of art as well as a highly functional um, and very effective cutting tool. Um, others, here's a still. Um, this is a pretty thick one. Um, good solid German in engineering in this particular case. Um, heavy duty handle on this, much thicker than a lot of the others. Um, here's a heart. Um, I really hate this one. This is a very, as far as I'm concerned, poor design. Um, it's a solid metal. And this particular design is kind of taking off on the est wing, but it's even heavier, even harder to use, and I think even less effective. Here's the classic est wing. Um, it uses a leather washer handle. They have other ones with less expensive handles, but each one of these is an individual leather washer that are stacked and compressed and then ground down. Um, classic design, very narrow if you notice the the. the profile for cutting. Compare that to the Fiskars, um, since that's what's in this particular video. And if you look at that, what happens is as the wood um, is struck, it's spread apart much faster. This tends to sink in and stick like a nail, whereas this uh, separates like a wedge. So it's actually pretty effective. Um, and if you look at this Grand Force Brooks compared it's sort of in between where it uses kind of a narrow part and then flexes out right here into a splitting side. There are splitting hatchets, I may cover that um, in another video, that are very effective for busting apart wood, but they're less effective for just chopping down things. Um, the Fiskars uses an all plastic or polymer handle. It is completely hollow. You can actually store things. Here's a Bic lighter. It's all the way down in there. You can in fact get three of them in there and you could block it off with this lanyard hole if you wanted to store some fire starting materials in it. Um, you can see that what they're using is a metal, you know, a steel cutting surface and pommel or handle or, or um, uh, uh, striking surface on the back, although they've not really finished it very well for striking, it's pretty messed up. Um, and then they have a, kind of a polymer or plastic overmold. And that overmold, the problem with it might be is it breaks. Fiskars has an excellent warranty. They do cover these. It's pretty hard to break them, um, but it can happen. This actually has some indentations inside the cheek of the, uh, um, of the hatchet here that allows a little more coverage of the plastic. It isn't just this thinness you see kind of right there. It actually goes in. Pretty solid design. Um, I love the hefty palm swell here. This just grabs your hand if it slides. This is a, a, a more grippy material, not super grippy, but not nothing like this heart, which is like tire rubber. Um, you know, this is a little smooth, but as the, the lacquer wears off, it's got some pretty good grip. This is not bad versus the harder plastic here. Um, quite affordable. Um, it's very sharp from the factory, which is good, and it's pr pretty easy to maintain. Sometimes these S wings are a little tougher to sharpen. These are glorious once you get that nice polish on there. This is just, it cuts paper from the factory. Um, the Fiskars are pretty good. It's, um, you can see the edge bevel here. It's pretty abrasive. Um, you know, the way they've just kind of cut it down. It's pretty sharp there versus a beautiful convex surface here. Also, they do, on these, you can see there's kind of a line. Let's see if you can see that 
right in here. I'm doing it with the tip of the uh, Fiskars right along there. That's an extra hardening that the tip went through that the rest of the hatchet head did not. This is, it appears to be a uniform hardness. I do not see really any, any lines. Maybe, I don't know. There might be a hardness line there. I might be wrong. Um, but anyway, a lot of times you want to change the hardness here versus here. And that is done after the, after the ax is forged. Um, anyway, it's a good solid design. I like the Fiskars. Um, I carry one in my vehicle. This is the X7. It's a pretty standard one. Um, and it's a lot easier to loan out. Uh, you know, this might cost 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, depends on, you know, where you get it. Um, versus something like this, which is about 130 bucks. Um, this one's about 50 bucks. These are about 40 to 50, depending on where you get them. And I don't even know if this is still made this hard. It was a Home Depot one. This guy probably cost about uh, 30. Um, real solid design. I wouldn't mind using this as a hammer, um, but it's not as functional you know, as a, as a hatchet. But anyway, the Fiskars makes good stuff. Um, it's also got a balance point that's way out here. If you compare that to the heart or something like that, you know, you're working with um, the balance point out here, which means a lot of your effort um, is wasted making this handle move around versus the Fiskars, which is super light. And so you're putting a majority of your force right out there in the tip. Um, as you can see, there's different size tips. This is more of a carving, chopping tip, slicing tips, kind of a wedge chopping tip on this classic German design. And then this Swedish design here. This is not only is for cutting of wood, but this one's for cutting of other materials as well, like game, um, you know, splitting rib cages, cutting through hides, things like that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to bring the Fiskars to your attention. I wouldn't use it around really hot things. It can melt versus some of the others. Um, and this particular one, when it gets really cold, um, would shatter a little bit more easily, obviously, than any of the others because it's plastic. So uh, you do have to be a little bit careful. But it's a good design. It's a good solid um, hatchet, even though it's plastic. Um, so I can endorse these things. And with that, Doc out.